Welcome WCC fans to Inside the WCC. With us today is the WCC Rawlings Pitcher of the Week, Matt Heiserman from the University of San Francisco. Welcome, Matt. Oh, thank you for having me. Uh, first off, congratulations on being named the WCC Pitcher of the Week. Um, you guys are coming off a huge weekend series win over Pepperdine. Can you talk about what it means to be recognized as the top pitcher in the conference uh, this past week with so many good pitchers in the WCC? You know what, it, it really means a lot to me. I mean, especially, uh, obviously I wasn't able to see all the other performances, but I mean, this weekend on our team alone, watching uh, Matt Lujan do what he did uh, on Friday against Pepperdine and, and uh, Doug Murray do the same thing on Saturday, uh, it, it really means a lot that, uh, to be named. Now you're coming off a complete game, 12 strikeout performance against the Waves. Can you talk about what it felt like to be out there in the zone uh, on the mound that day? Uh, you know what, I think in the zone is probably the best way to put it. I, it was... Uh, it was kind of a weird feeling, to tell you the truth. It didn't really uh, hit me that uh, I was pitching the ninth even when the ninth came around. As, uh, you know, Coach Moore here, our pitching coach, really preaches one inning at a time, and I really tried to stick to that. And it, it all kind of came up, uh, the end came up real quick on me. So it was a lot of fun. Now, you actually started your college career over at Santa Clara. Um, what made you want to transfer to USF, and what was that decision process like? You know, it was actually, it was a really tough decision. Uh, I had a lot of fun over at Santa Clara, but um, in the end, I just found it, it just wasn't the right place for me. I, I went uh, out to Bethesda, Maryland, to play summer ball. Uh, had a blast playing summer ball with some guys from San Francisco. Uh, watched the way they played and really enjoyed playing with them and watching the way they play. So uh, when it came down to it, I just felt like uh, San Francisco was a, a little bit better fit just uh, on the way they, they looked at the game and approached the game for me. Now, can you talk about your teammate Doug Murray, who's seven and zero right now? He's having an outstanding season. Um, what is it like having a, a guy like that on the pitching staff? And um, what things have you learned from him, or, or what things have you shared with him to, to help each other get better? You know what? It, watching Doug pitch is just an absolute blast. Um, I think the biggest thing I can learn from him is just watch, watching the way he just attacks hitters. He, he just kind of goes into games just absolutely fearless. Uh, it's really fun to watch. I mean, this is his first year pitching. Uh, Division One baseball, and you know, watching him, I would have never guessed because he goes out there with absolutely no hesitation and just, just attacks everything he does. And, you know, really as a teammate, it's just it's really fun to watch. And you guys have a big weekend series coming up against Cal Poly, who's nationally ranked. Um, can you talk about what you guys are going to need to do against Cal Poly, and uh, will this be a good test for you guys heading into the last couple of weekends of a uh, conference play? You know what? Uh, I don't think really we need to change anything on the way we go into this weekend. We've played a really, really tough schedule, a lot on the road all year long, and uh, I think it's tested us, you know, all the way through coming into conference. So uh, I think for us, this is just kind of another weekend, just a, another another challenge that we get to face as a team, and you know, I, I feel like it's really nationally ranked or not, it's really no different the way we're going to approach it than, you know, playing any other weekend. Now, speaking of the standings, you guys are just two games back of first place after the, the weekend series win over Pepperdine. Uh, what is the attitude of the team right now with just a couple of weeks of conference play left? You know, I feel like as a team, we're, we're feeling like we're finally starting to, to hit our stride. And we, we realize being two games back that, you know, basically we just need to, we need to win as many games as we can and not focus on what everyone else is doing. So uh, we're just, you know, trying to control what we can control and, uh, and win each game one at a time. Well, thank you, Matt, for joining us today, and good luck to you and the Dons with the rest of the season. All right, thank you much. That does it for this edition of Inside the WCC. Fans log on to WCCSports.com for your latest news, videos, podcasts, and exclusive merchandise.